Oh, hey Lego fans, DL Studios here. Oh man, I just got back from a really intense game of ping pong. <laughs> I love to play ping pong. And, uh, which reminds me, I have a mock. Here, let's move this out of the way. I have a mock that's related to ping pong. I made a ping pong table. How's that for an intro? Okay, but seriously. <laughs> I, one of my favorite sports is ping pong, and if you don't know what ping pong is, well, some people call it table tennis, you use a paddle like this here, and you hit a ball on a little table, or actually it's a very large table, this is just a little model of a table out of Lego, and you try and uh, not let it double bounce on your side, or you just try and score points on your other team, so, or your, your opponent. So yeah, I brought my ping pong paddle here to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I thought, let's build my favorite sport in Lego. And I started with this uh, ping pong pad or table, and then I built the paddles. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But yeah, this table, um, you can see here. My goal is that it's minifigure scale. It seems to be minifigure scale. Um, so you're playing ping pong with your opponent. I actually have two minifigures right here. So they'll be playing against each other. And uh, yeah, so the paddles. We've got purple paddle and uh, a gray paddle. Alright, so uh, some pieces that I used, uh, here let's close it out of the way. Some pieces that I used for this table, um, you can see it's tiled. I got tiles around the thing. Um, and I stuck with a green color because, well, um, personally, I quite like the green. And I didn't have a, any blue or anything else. But yeah, I used these bricks that can hold the tile. You can see it kind of just fell apart on me. Let's fix it. There we go. So this just kind of holds the tile in place. Same on this end, you can see. Right there. And uh, you stick that right there. Just a little sneak preview of the build itself. So what you do, you grab your minifigures, put the the handle on like that. Sorry, you can't see that. They just hold it like so. And this is just like one of these uh, pieces. It's relatively new and I got this disc piece that's a tile and uh, it's got these little like slots in it sorry guys they've got these little slots right there and what you do you take your handle and you stick that in the middle like, like that and then you give it to your minifigure Looks good from that angle, but that angle, you can see the build of it. And then the other one I made, this one has a little ball bouncing off of it. You don't have to have that. And uh, I don't have another tile piece um, in dark gray, but you know, it's the same exact build as the previous one. And then uh, you grab your ball which is just an orange stud, and then you can start playing. So we'll set him up there. Set, whoops, he, he's holding the paddle in the wrong hand. Set him up right there, and then they can play. So yeah, it's just a fun little build. Um, I have instructions um, available on the Brickable. You can just search ping pong table, and uh, it should come up. You can download those for free and see how I build this. And you can have one for yourself. Um, and I did not I did not include the minifigures, that's on you. It's just the table and the paddles. So yeah, but with this little uh, transparent piece, you can put it through that little hole and stick the ball on the stud and kinda hit it at an angle a little bit. Which, it looks kinda cool. Uh, let me let me get it a little bit better view. So change your hand if you like. 
There we go. Oop. There we go. And they're playing ping pong, which is super cool. And it's a small build. I think it's a. I think the total is about like 31 pieces or something. Yeah, this is just a fun, quick little mock for you guys uh, this week. Um, I've got, like I said, the instructions on Rubricable. You can download them, if, download them if you'd like. Put this uh, with your minifigures. Put it like Lego Cities if you're into that. Or you could just display it on a shelf. Um, but yeah, uh, check out my previous video, uh, the Volkswagen Beetle review. And uh, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe to DL Studios. And I'll see you guys next time.